I have this egg that I picked up at Michael's. It's about an inch thick, so it's able to stand on its own. And I'm going to paint it in our Wise Owl White Primer. You most certainly can use our Snow Owl. Uh, I like to sometimes use the primer when I'm dealing with wood because I wanted a nice white crisp color and I don't want the wood tannins to bleed through. I did a dabbing motion at the end just to give me a little texture. Then I took this Dollar Tree bunny head and I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to paint it in the white primer using this dabber. Then I have these, I have two of these hearts. They're two small hearts that I picked up in a package from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to paint them both in the Wise Owl White Primer. And then I have this little tiny heart that I have left over from one of our cutouts. And I painted that in the White Primer as well. You could find a button. Then I'm going to go around the edge with chocolate on this dabber and just kind of making a stained edge just to give my project um, a rustic vibe and to give it some character. And I did this on all the little pieces that I just painted. I'm going to use the color petal and I'm going to put this on the little tiny heart. I'm going to go to my other hearts and put it upside down and put these three lines, one in the center of the humps, one in the crease of the heart. I'm going to take my small heart and I'm going to add it as a nose to my bunny and I'm going to take these other hearts and put them at the bottom of my large egg. Then I'm going to add these little blocks and I'm going to use them as spacers for the bunny head and glue that down. Then I had this pom-pom. You can get these at the Dollar Tree, usually in a package around this time of year, or sometimes you can have them left over from Christmas. And I just added it to the top of my egg. Now I'm going to add a face using our chocolate and an art brush. And I'm just going to do two dots for the nose and make two hooks for the mouth and I'm going to do these squiggly lines for whiskers. I have this ribbon and I'm going to use it for the internal part of the ear. I took a small piece and then cut from corner to corner, kind of doing an oval shaped cut. And once I had the first one, I used that as a pattern for the second one so they were even. And then I made a straight cut at the base of the ear. I glued these down and then I had this little crochet type ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I made a little bow for under his chin. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateoffancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or mesh stencils, chocolateoffancy.com. Thank you so much.